With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a bead of mass M stay at point P on wire bend in the form of parabola. You can see the equation rotating with an angular speed omega. You have to find out the value of omega here. So if you see this is the diagram right and uh, the particle is rotated in this parabola so the particle will be acted by a centrifugal force if you see from the frame of this parabola right so centrifugal force will act in this direction and mg will act in this downward direction right and uh, if i say this is mg acting in this direction and m omega square that is the centrifugal force it's acting in this direction and if you see the radius in which it is performing the circular motion so the radius here is it you can see it is a right so omega square a will be the centrifugal force the right so if you draw a tangent here so you can see along the this curve right along this tangent there is no net force right so if I write this angle as theta, that is the angle made by the tangent with the horizontal theta, right? So, so you can see already along this wire, there is no net force. So I will write here M omega square A cos theta is equals to now the, this angle is 90. So this angle will be 90 minus theta. So I will write Mg sin theta. So you could cancel out this M and M. Then you will get omega square A by G is equals to tan theta. Right. Now you can see this is the tan theta. And uh, yeah, you can uh, say here dy by dx is equals to the slope that is tan theta here. So just replace this tan theta by dy by dx. So that is equals to this, right? So I will write dy by dx value. If you see here, this is the y as a function of x. So I will write here y equals to 4cx square. So dy by dx will be 8cx. So we want the dy by dx at x equals to a, right? So just put the value of x equals to a, then you will get it 8c a, right? So just put it here. So dy by dx at x equals to a is, we calculated already 8c a. So just put it omega square a by g. So this a will get cancelled out and you will get omega square is equals to 8c into g. And if you take under root, you will get the omega under root 8 cg which is 2 root 2 cg and this will be your answer right so you can see b is the correct one simple thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today